Thousands of small shop woodworkers and even some professionals use single stage dust collectors like this one, and they do a decent job of reducing the mess from sawdust and wood chips. But if you've used one for long, you know why some people call them chip collectors, but dust pumps. If you had access to a good quality air meter, you would likely find that the air coming out of your dust collector is as polluted with fine dust as the air surrounding your tool, maybe even worse. It's because these single stage collectors come with poor filtration and they often develop leaks all over the place. Leaks that can pump out fine dust right around head level where it's most convenient for you to breathe it in. Then when the collection bag gets full and you must empty it, you fill the air and your lungs with even more fine dust. These are big problems, but they can be greatly reduced with some DIY upgrades, and that's what we'll do today. I'll take this bargain price dust collector from Harbor Freight and greatly improve its performance, both at collecting dust and keeping it inside. First, let's talk filters. Dust collection is all about airflow. The more air the system can pull in, the better it can collect your chips. But in order to pull a lot of air into the system, it must also expel an equal amount of air out through the filters. That is a major bottleneck in these types of systems. Think of the surface of the filter bag as covered in millions of tiny pores that allow the clean air to escape. You can only fit so many pores on a few square feet of cloth. So filter bag manufacturers make those pores larger, so they let more air out and increase overall suction. But that also lets more dust out as well. The single best thing you can do to your single stage dust collector is to throw the filter bag in the trash and install a canister filter. I admit they aren't cheap, but it will totally transform your dust collector. It will move more air, it will collect more dust, and it will keep it inside. That's because the filter media in a canister filter is pleated. Instead of a few square feet of surface area for those pores, a canister filter has hundreds of square feet, not millions of pores, but billions. And when you have such an abundance of pores, you can make them very, very tiny. We're talking MER15 ultra-fine nano filtration. In a few minutes, we'll talk about how to adapt a canister filter to fit your particular dust collector. But first, I want to talk about a modification I made to the collector bag below the filter. Unfortunately, these bags aren't really disposable because they have to be really heavy duty to hold up to being blasted by a stream of sawdust, and they have to be transparent so you can see when they're full. So most folks empty and reuse the stock bag many times, and that is an awful dusty chore. The alternative is to just cut the bottom off the bag so the chips can fall out without having to remove it. Of course, you don't want your chips all over the floor. So get yourself a five gallon pail and a gamma seal lid. You can find gamma seal lids pretty much anywhere you can buy five gallon pails. We don't need the screw in part in the center, just the outer ring because this is molded to the shape of the rim of the five gallon pail. Put a reasonably priced heavy duty 30 gallon trash bag in the five gallon pail, tucking most of it inside and draping a few inches over the outside. Now slip the clear bag through the center of the gamma seal ring and let the plastic bag drape over the five gallon pail, forcing the ring down over the rim and securing it with clamps. These are inexpensive four and a half inch bar clamps. You can find them online. I'll link to them below. I've modified them by cutting little notches in the lower jaws. The notch will fit over the rib beneath the rim of the five gallon pail, while the upper jaws will pull the ring down on top of the pail for an airtight seal. Now watch what happens. As the chips come in, the heavy clear plastic bag takes the abuse. That's okay, it can handle it. The less expensive trash bag begins to fill up and the five gallon pail will quickly overflow. That's okay too. Let the chips pile right up about halfway into the clear bag. Now let's empty it. Release the clamps and lift the black trash bag up and over the outside of the clear one, creating a funnel that transfers all of the dust into the black trash bag with minimal leakage. Not only is this a lot easier than filling up your clear bag and then removing the belt, taking it off and dumping it into another container for disposal, but it also means you won't have to release that band clamp at all. Those band clamps are notorious for creating little holes in the clear bag over time, which then leak dust. This way, you leave the clamp alone and your clear bag will last for many years. One thing I might add though, sometimes the belt will leak around the buckle. 
If this is a problem, I suggest getting some wide adhesive backed weather stripping and sticking a layer to the steel drum beneath where the belt wraps around it for an airtight seal. Now before we talk about adapting a cartridge filter to the top of your dust collector, I want to answer a question I know some of you will have. Why not attach a trash can separator so it will catch all the chips and you won't need to mess with the bag? You can do that, but it will take up more floor space and it will reduce your overall airflow and suction power. I recommend trying this relatively simple and inexpensive solution first, and if you wish to add a separator down the road, you still can do that. Either way, you'll need to attach a canister filter to the top of your dust collector's metal drum. The filter diameter is 17 and a half inches, but unfortunately your dust collector's drum can be as small as 14 inches or as large as 24 inches. In the case of my central machinery collector, the rim is 19 and a quarter inches across. This filter obviously won't sit on top of the rim, but this collector has a dust ramp inside and my filter may be set on that ramp. The gasket on the underside of the filter will create a seal, but I need a way to secure it in place. This pack of hardware comes with the filter and it includes some little brackets that can be mounted to the metal drum with adhesive foam sealing strips for the outside and spring nuts for the inside. Also included are latches that draw the filter downward, securing it to the dust collector. Because there was only about an inch of space between my filter and the steel rim, the latches worked fine on my system. But what if your rim is significantly larger than the filter? Or what if you don't have a handy dust ramp inside to set your filter on? In that case, you'll need to make a donut out of plywood that fits inside the rim of your collector. Then you can drive screws through the steel drum into the edge of the donut and seal around the top with silicone. Now the brackets may be bent to 90 degrees and attached to the top of the wood donut with screws, and you may use your latches as before to secure the filter. Note how the rim of my dust collector's drum is slightly flared outward. The top of the rim is larger in diameter than the rest of the drum, so my donut was sized to fit just below the rim and slip down inside. Some dust collectors, however, feature a bead around the top of the rim, meaning the top of the rim is smaller than the inside of the drum. You obviously must size the donut to the smaller diameter so it will fit down past that beaded rim, but when you install it inside, it'll slip below the rim and it'll fit loosely in the body of the drum. I recommend attaching some thin weather stripping material to the edge of the donut to seal that gap. Then add a bead of silicone on top. This will be sure that there are no leaks once the drum is screwed in place. Finally, what if your collector's drum is significantly smaller than the filter? In that case, I would install a plywood donut inside the rim, just as before, but then I would make a second larger donut that may sit on top of the rim and anchor to the first one with screws. Don't forget to seal with silicone on the underside as well. This double donut or anchor donut setup will provide a large platform on which you can mount your larger filter with brackets and latches. Upgrading your filter and modifying how the chips are emptied are two simple upgrades that will pay off big on just about any single stage dust collector. I highly recommend you visit Win Environmental at the link below this video. They'll provide the filters and mounting hardware you need to upgrade your single stage collector. See you next time. Wait, don't go yet. If you're new here, please subscribe and remember to ring the bell. I would really appreciate that. Give us a thumbs up or better yet, leave us a comment. I always read them. And be sure to check out the latest issue of Stumpy Nubs Woodworking Journal. It's always packed with tips, tricks, and tutorials designed to make you a better woodworker.